Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it is travel home day today. <laughs> it's my toddler in the background as usual. Um, we are getting ready to check out. So I'm packing up my stuff, doing like a reverse um, Disney packing. Now we're home packing. Home Taking one last view of our room. Oh, so sad. We gotta go, but you know, there's always next time, right? See you real soon, contemporary. All right, are we ready? Go to Epcot? Yay! All right, let's go. Good morning. It is 10-11. We're just getting to Epcot now. I ended up deciding, like, I've been up since 5 this morning, but I was just so tired and feeling lazy, so I was like, uh, you know what, I'm just going to splurge and we'll, I logged in to see what the price for Genie Plus was today. It was 19. I never get Genie Plus at Epcot, um, but I needed to ensure that we were going to be able to ride Frozen today because we didn't get a ride the, like, the other day and that's all Lucia was talking about yesterday and I, I did check to see if we could leave Magic Kingdom yesterday and come to Epcot but there was no more Frozen rides, it like, wouldn't, or there was no um, available lightning lane so it just wouldn't have made sense to do that. So anyway, we um, are here for our first lightning lane. We had a little chaotic morning. Um, my, we were getting ready to leave, and then uh, whew, windy and cold today. Whoa, it is very cold and windy today. Um, yeah, we were getting ready to leave, and I was taking some videos. And I was getting an alert that I was out of memory, so then I had to frantically start to like move files to my computer. I should have did that last night, but I don't know. It is what it is. It's going to be a great day. It's a little cold. Hopefully, it warms up. Um, but let's get going. Okay, no, you can't go up, Lucia. All right, we just finished up with Frozen. It's only like 10.25, I think, or something. So um, we, are, we started walking to go to uh, France Pavilion because we want to see Aurora and get um, Lucia's picture taken with Aurora. Um, but it looks like I was just on um, GE Plus and it says that uh, they're not she's not meeting now until 11:25. so ratatouille is 40 minutes i'm kind of nervous but i think we might try to do that rope drop because the lightning lane for ratatouille um isn't showing up until after seven which we're going to be on the airplane at that time so i'll try to get her this one ride then maybe meet aurora and get some breakfast or lunch at this point <laughs> Hold on. You do have that. You look so... Hi. 
Come over this way, little one. I love them. It is 11 o'clock. We actually got to meet Aurora. We were the last ones they took her. So now we're in line for Aurora. And um, it's saying that the posted wait time is 40 minutes, but I think we're almost there. So it's great. We came at the best time. Lucia, you got to meet Aurora, right? Yeah. Did you like Aurora? Yeah. And you danced with her? enjoying today's content so far please um, don't forget to like comment share subscribe all the things um, you'll be notified anytime that I have a future video and it really does help support the channel and let's get back into the video it's 11 13 I think um, we just finished Ratatouille and I think we're gonna get something to eat and or maybe we'll do some pictures because we didn't get to do that I definitely want to go see the butterflies today I think she'll love that um, but check this out this view Skyliner so pro tip if you get the popcorn um, refillable bucket when you're here you can actually get um, like maple caramel corn flavored at um, the Canada Pavilion at Epcot. It's like the only place you could get it. Otherwise, it's usually just the regular buttered popcorn. So Lucia loves this. She was like, popcorn, popcorn. So we had to make a stop in Canada. Popcorn, popcorn. Yeah, you love your popcorn, right? You probably shouldn't even be eating this at her age. Popcorn, popcorn. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go to La Cellier. I've never um, actually ate there. We're not gonna be able to do it on this trip, but um, I heard it's good.
loves babies. It's like super loud in here. There's a lot of like high school, and actually that looks like middle schoolers here. Like out of control. So we just used up our last um, dining plan voucher or whatever the expression is. Um, so if you want to get your money's worth, definitely worth it if you drink hard alcohol. Or not hard alcohol. If you drink alcohol. Our meal was like $15.50. I got the taco trios. And then I got a margarita, which was like a, normally like another 10 So right there, it's like over 30 bucks. So you figure you, they give you two a day. So I'm, I'm averaging probably 60 Plus they give you the free mug. And the whole meal with tax, I think it comes to like $57. So um, definitely it's worth it to go this route. You can save yourself a little bit of money if you are drinking. And I would go to places like Epcot. is like the perfect place to use it. She sees a bird. Alright, so this is where we just ate. We eat here every time we come. It's just La Cantina. And um, the one thing you should know is, I always forget this, is they make you park your stroller out there, which is kind of annoying. But a tip, if you come during the morning or afternoon and there's no seats available, if you walk toward the back, I should have filmed this when I was over there. Let me see if I can film it. Where those people are coming in and out, way back there to the left, um, there is, it's connected to the restaurant, and um, you can actually, there's like more seating inside. They'll let you sit in there, even though you just got the quick service. When, yeah, there's a bird, mama. When um, we came in September with my mom, um, Lucia was sleeping, and they let us go in there, and it was nice, quiet, cool, like air conditioned. Right now, we don't need air conditioning. It's a little chilly today, but under normal circumstances, if you're looking for a place to sit down and cool air, that is the perfect place, and it's quiet, very quiet, and they can um, have your your baby or your toddler sleeping. Yeah, I'll go all right, so it is 12.30 and I'm hoping that she's gonna take a little bit of a nap. Um, this is perfect time, so I'm gonna just kinda like walk and stroll her around, but she seems kinda like reckless right now. So if you're married to like a workaholic or whatever, I mean, my husband doesn't do this kind of work, but if you're the type that you need to work and you're wondering if you can work from Disney, you can. I, this is like second time in a row. I've seen people with their laptop here and it's completely empty they have shaded and sunny areas and they have wi-fi over here they have little outlets where you can um, charge your laptop or your phone or whatever so yeah definitely a relaxing place if geez like i wish i could work from, from here and you know be able to work from here but obviously not take care of my two-year-old um but yeah this is like a fairly new thing and it's pretty cool
got to go there next. Excited? <laughs> she said, are you excited? Yeah. Yeah, we're excited. Say excited. She's excited too. Someone. Uh -oh. oh my goodness. Oh, how many you three. Come on, grab his hand. He wants to bring you to see Minnie. Oh. Susan, you go. Is it me or is it you? Oh, she's spinning you around. That's so sweet, Lucia. Look, she likes your bow and your hair. Oh, she likes your dress, too. If she wants you to stand up. Let's stand in the middle. My heart again. Yeah, yeah. Can I give you a hug? That's perfect. Oh. Yeah. Hey, careful, don't, don't hold her. All right. Here we go. Look here. Hey. Smile, Zuchis. All right. We just did the special chase uh, card holder meet and greet. We again caught Minnie and Pluto for the third time. <laughs> but it actually was fine because it's the first time she wasn't scared and she spent a lot of time with them. It was just great. So we're going to rush back over back to Mexican Pavilion and see if we can get Donald because she was upset she didn't get to see him before and I had to tell her that he had to go potty so she still hasn't taken a nap yet so I'm hoping that she doesn't fall asleep by the time we get here because we have to leave in an hour probably to go back to the hotel. We're getting picked up around 4.15 so I want to just leave myself an hour to get over there even though I know the monorail shouldn't take that long but anyway so... I've been 